Question number one. Which of the following best describes why scientists use models in their work? The correct answer is letter C to make complex concepts simpler to understand. Scientists use models to simplify and represent complex systems or concepts, making them easier to understand, study, and explain. Question number two. The atomic model is an example of a scientific model because The correct answer is letter D. It provides a visual representation of something too small to see directly. The atomic model is a scientific model because it helps visualize and understand the structure of atoms, which are too small to be seen with the naked eye or even with most microscopes. Question number three. Which of the following best describes a scientific model? The correct answer is letter D a simplified representation of a complex system or process. A scientific model is a simplified representation that helps to explain and predict how complex systems or processes work. Question number four. What is the main purpose of using scientific models? The correct answer is letter D to explain and predict phenomena that are difficult to observe directly. Scientific models are used to simplify, explain, and predict phenomena that are challenging to observe or measure directly, helping to enhance understanding and guide further research. Question number 5. Which state of matter has particles that are tightly packed and vibrate in fixed positions? The correct answer is letter B solid. In the solid state of matter, particles are tightly packed together and vibrate in fixed positions, which gives solids their definite shape and volume. Question number 6. What happens to the particles in a substance when it is heated? The correct answer is letter D, they move more rapidly. When a substance is heated, the particles gain energy and move more rapidly. This increased movement can lead to changes in the substance's state or increase its temperature. Question number 7. Which of the following is not a basic assumption of the particle theory of matter? The correct answer is letter A particles are always stationary. According to the particle theory of matter, particles are never stationary, they are always in constant motion, though the degree of movement can vary depending on the state of matter and temperature. Question number 8. How do particles behave in a gas compared to a liquid? The correct answer is letter C. Gas particles move more freely and are further apart. In a gas, particles move more freely and are much further apart compared to particles in a liquid, where they are closer together and have more frequent interactions. Question number 9. Which of the following phenomena can the particle model of matter explain?
The correct answer is letter D, thermal expansion. The particle model of matter explains thermal expansion by describing how particles move more rapidly and spread apart as they gain heat, causing the substance to expand. Question number 10. What happens to the spaces between particles as a solid melts into a liquid? The correct answer is letter A, they increase slightly. When a solid melts into a liquid, the particles gain enough energy to overcome some of the forces holding them together in a fixed position. As a result, the spaces between the particles increase slightly, allowing them to move more freely. Question number 11. How does the particle model explain evaporation? The correct answer is letter D. Liquid particles gain enough energy to overcome attractions and become gas. In the particle model, evaporation occurs when liquid particles gain enough energy, usually from heat, to overcome the intermolecular forces holding them together in the liquid state. As a result, they escape into the air as gas particles. Question number 12. Which state of matter has particles with the least kinetic energy? The correct answer is letter B solid. In a solid, the particles have the least kinetic energy compared to the other states of matter. They are closely packed and vibrate in fixed positions, which means they have less energy to move around compared to particles in liquids, gases, or plasma. Question number 13. Which of the following is evidence that supports the particle theory of matter? The correct answer is letter B, the compressibility of gases. The compressibility of gases supports the particle theory of matter because it demonstrates that gas particles are far apart and can be squeezed closer together. This behavior aligns with the particle theory, which explains that matter is made up of particles in constant motion with varying amounts of space between them. Question number 14. Which of the following is not explained by the particle model of matter? The correct answer is letter D, nuclear fission. The particle model of matter explains processes like boiling, condensation, and sublimation by focusing on the movement and interactions of particles. However, nuclear fission, which involves the splitting of atomic nuclei and is a nuclear reaction, is not explained by the particle model of matter. Question number 15. How does the particle model explain why solids maintain their shape? The correct answer is letter D solid particles at strong forces of attraction and vibrate in fixed positions. In a solid, the particles are closely packed together and held in place by strong intermolecular forces. These particles vibrate in fixed positions but do not move freely, which is why solids maintain their shape. 